Be okay. messy. You take a half a cup of raisins. Oh, yeah, those, I brought those, by the way. Yes, thank you for providing the raisins. I, I, I have, uh, uh, it's a weird story. I have too much uh, raisins. I, that's, I can, went you, to, can you have too many raisins? I went to Costco. You know Costco, and the problem is you get there and you can only pick one thing, you know? It's like, I don't know, like what, what flavor of soup am I gonna eat for the next three years of my life here? I don't know. And so I got raisins, 143 bucks. I got enough raisins to last me the rest of my life, so. That's great. I got too much, that's why. I, I was trying to give them out to people nobody wants. So, here, take a bag home with you. They're high, they're high in copper. Raisins are. So that's good, isn't it? I would imagine it's. I imagine that's good, otherwise it would say warning high in copper. <laughs> it just says high in copper. Yeah. So that's probably a good thing. Raisins are dried grapes, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Does everybody people know, know that? that? Oh, yeah. people know that. Um. Yeah, the dried grape, and the dried uh, uh, plum is a prune, right? Yes, dried, yes. And then after that, it was like dried apricot is just dried apricot. That's the, that's the point where the language people just stepped in and said, all right, enough, this is nuts. If you're gonna leave something out on the shelf for the day, forget it, I'm not giving it a new word. You know? <laughs> so, so, okay. They let a few slip by and then it's dried everything. You gotta draw the line somewhere, <sighs> I think. Okay, back to baking. That's We're right. We're baked and baking, hence the show. Um, I poured hot water on the raisins. And I'm gonna dump the hot water out. You just wanna soften the raisins up, so I'm just gonna dump the water out. I'm using the same sieve I used before, but it's all gonna go in the oven, so. It's all working out. Yeah, okay. There's some raisins. Mm. Uh, I have that in there. What this calls for is one whisked egg. So we have our lovely organic free range egg. Mm, okay. I ovulate organic free-range eggs. I'm very healthy. <laughs> right. do, you like the, do you have the free-range chicken, too? <laughs> What's that? The free-range chicken, you have that? I, you know, I haven't come up with a marijuana chicken recipe. Oh, okay. <laughs> It, that's, it, that's a very BC thing. People willing to pay extra money so that the chicken can run around a bit, you know, have a nice life. Yeah. They can feel good about themselves. And so they're, oh, yeah, hey, he was happy, yeah? He got to run around the barnyard. Huh? <laughs> the right. meat's better, right? That's it. It, they taste better, hands yeah. down. Egg, they taste better, no doubt yeah. about it. Some organic food tastes better. Same uh, with the rabbit, by the way. I don't know. If the rabbit's like, been all cooped up, yeah, the meat's not as good as if you, you run around. Same thing. Or you know, if you can get a rabbit that's been a children's pet, and he's been loved and he's been cuddled, oh, the, the meat just falls off the bone. <laughs> uh, this is a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm putting that in there. Vanilla's delicious and all things. Usually I just do this. I never... I, recipes, my friends, are merely suggestions. <laughs> because everybody's house is different. Everybody's appliance is different. So, let's recap. A half a cup of butter, a half Oops. a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of shake ground into a fine powder, one beaten egg, half a cup of corn syrup, quarter teaspoon of salt, the key oh. to butter tarts is you don't want to mix them too much. You just want to mix them enough until they're done. Yeah. So I'm thinking uh, instead of that joint, I should have brought a pen, actually. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of drops of lemon. And I'm just going to beat this just until it seems sort of... We'll take that out. And we'll take our half a cup of raisins, and they call it folding. You're supposed to watch yourself. Okay. <laughs> You're supposed to. Yeah, they can jump at you too. The raisins in. Uh, if you beat it too much, I, it, it sort of affects the texture of the butter tart. So that's why you just want to mix it and then stop. Erwin, you have this great okay. job. I'm going to give you a fun job. Okay, I'm the gloop guy, right? Yeah. I can pretend okay. I'm like the. Uh, I can pretend I'm like the, one of these army cooks, you know, <laughs> yeah. as they're going through line. Clunk. Alrighty. Go. You can do it any way you want to do it. This is in terms your slop. tart yeah. filling <laughs> right here on the show. Here's the thing about eating wheat food. Everybody's different, so it's crazy. They're like, what'll happen? So always my suggestion is like start slow. Eat a little bit and then go back for seconds because weed's great to eat if you eat just the right amount. But if you eat too much, you know, um, too much can actually scare people away from weed. But if you just get the right amount, it's fabulous. Or at least for a while it can. Have all the glaucoma yeah. patients over during the holidays and uh, and feed them these. Weed's, uh, weed's good to help stimulate the appetite. Many people with... Uh, 
cancer uh, and AIDS. I mean, and, and countless shingles, insomniacs love to eat weed. Um, there's actually no bad press. Do you know of any bad press on weed? Uh, You're doing a great job, there my we friend. Go. Yeah. You're doing a great job, you guys. Yeah, well, it's. Uh, don't get your sleeve in the tart, no. my friend. That's, uh, that's one of the bad things about it. <laughs> You're asking for the bad side of the weed. You get, uh, yeah, you get your, uh, you get your sleeve <laughs> yeah. in the tart Damn. stuff. Exactly. But other than that, no, I can't think of anything uh, really negative about uh, judicious uh, use. Do you prefer to eat it or smoke it, Erwin? Oh, you know, I, um, for me, it's just one of those things where, you know, I'm just not, it's not as, it's like, I mean, like once a month, maybe, you know? Once a month, you... I'll get a pound, say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. No, once, yeah. no, once a month. Yeah, no, yeah, pretty rare for me, really. But it's something that really is, is good for you creatively. Okay. It's like moderate drinking. Think of, you know, some people are moderate, are social drinkers. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I think, though? And then it's other people just drink excessively, you know? I so, guess so. But what's yeah. moderate? So what's I'm on moderate the moderate side of You're the, on the moderate side? Yeah. Compared oh, to very me, much. though. Hmm? You know, I'm a bit of a hedonist, so like, yeah, well, moderate I know. to me is like, you know, just one, two doobies a day and half a bottle of red wine. That's moderate. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a modest outfit, like... The same standard. Yeah, you should have seen the one I originally planned for the show, but gotcha. the X name. Okay. Okay, this is uh here's what our tarts are gonna look All right. like. You guys get a good shot down there. They're green, they're festive when they come out of the oven. Uh they'll be nice and browned on the outside. Big at 375, it says for 20 to 25 minutes. But I'm gonna tell you that ovens are like new everybody's oven is different and if you're working with a new oven it's like having a new lover <laughs> it takes time to learn how to heat it up okay. just right so like i said all recipes are merely yeah. suggestions 375 work with it keep an eye on your tarts the first time so you know the second time and here's what our lovely tarts would look like at the very end that's right yeah. do they look um delicious or yeah they look, they look, what do you uh, they think? look great they look We're like gonna... butter tarts Bud der Tarts. Bud der Tarts. That's just yeah. it. All right. uh, you know what we're going to do? I want you to come and hang out with me. We're sure. going to eat a tart and drink some tea, and Lola Lush oh, okay. is going to come to the tart. And ta-da, okay. Go have a tart. <laughs>